Today, we'll walk you through the basics of using Play Canvas and how it integrates with the Viverse platform. For this tutorial, we'll be setting up a Play Canvas environment and uploading a simple scene to Viverse. Let's kick things off by exploring the correlation between the Play Canvas editor and Viverse. The Play Canvas editor is essential for creating and customizing immersive 3D experiences, which can then be shared and enjoyed on Viverse. First, visit the Play Canvas website and click the sign up button. Use the same email you used for your Viverse account to ensure proper integration. After logging in, download the latest version of the Play Canvas extension. Extract the content of the file to a folder on your computer. Open your browser's extensions page and enable developer mode. Click Load Unpacked and navigate to the folder where you extracted the extension. Select the folder and confirm that the extension is enabled. Now let's take a brief look at the Play Canvas Editor. The Visual Scene Editor is the core of the Play Canvas Editor, where you build and customize 3D environments. You can add entities such as models, lights, cameras, using a simple drag and drop interface. With Asset Management, the Editor includes an efficient asset management system where you can upload, organize, and access 3D models, textures, sounds, and scripts. In the physics and animation department, the editor includes robust support for physics and animations, allowing you to create dynamic interactions and movements within your scenes. For performance optimization, there's various tools available to help optimize the performance of your project across different devices. There's also extensive documentation in a vibrant community that supports new and experienced users alike. Lastly, projects can be deployed to web browsers, mobile devices, and VR headsets directly from the editor. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be uploading our project to Vivers via the extension we've just installed. Now, let's check out the hierarchy tree. This is where you manage the parent-child relationships of your entities. You can remove default objects like the box, plane, and camera, but keep the light. You can find assets from built-in options like the Sketchfab store, or other online sources. Then drag and drop them into your world. You can also customize the properties of your objects from the Object Properties section. Once you've set up your environment, you can preview and publish your scene. Use the central panel to see your live updates and changes. Congratulations, you've successfully set up a Play Canvas environment. For more tutorials and tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel and join the Play Canvas and Vivers communities. Happy creating!